If you have some experience with the MCAT critical analysis and reasoning skills, known as CAR section, you know how difficult some of the passages can be. So sometimes they'll reread the same lines over and over without really gaining comprehension. So in today's video, I want to tell you how to approach these difficult passages and I'll also provide you with a sample passage, sample questions, as well as the answers to those questions. Hi, I'm Nadine Evans with BMO Academic Consulting. Before I get started, make sure you subscribe on whatever social media channel you're watching this from so you won't miss any of our upcoming videos. If you want us to help you get into medical school, go to bmomedschool.com to schedule your free initial consultation. So let's start with how you can approach a difficult passage. Firstly, remain calm and don't panic. Some passages may contain confusing or difficult words or phrases, some that you've never even heard of before. This isn't important though. Instead, focus on gaining a general understanding of the passage. Read one paragraph at a time, stop, and ask yourself, what was that paragraph about? Then try linking each of the paragraphs together at the end to give you a general understanding of the entire passage. If you find you're struggling with a specific paragraph, that's okay. Write down some keywords from it and then move on. The most important thing you can do to be able to approach these passages is to practice. So the passage I'm going to give you in this video will be challenging. Practice as I mentioned by going through it one paragraph at a time, writing down the meaning, and then start trying to link them together to get an overall understanding. Generally speaking, you shouldn't spend more than 10 to 12 minutes on each individual passage in the cars section, but for a difficult passage, it's okay to spend a little bit more time as you'll likely spend less time on easier passages. So I'd recommend that you find a quiet, but not necessarily silent place to do this passage. This way you'll be simulating the real MCAT. Don't skip ahead to the answers until you've had a chance to try and answer them yourself first. This way you can see how you performed overall, which will help you during your preparations. So here's a sample passage. I'll let you read through it, but if I change the screen too soon, then feel free to pause the video, reread, and then continue. Okay, and here are the questions. What is existential angst? The feeling one has when confronted with choice, the state of desperation when contemplating that existence precedes essence, the task of making similarly limitless choices, the anxiety and regret associated with having made a choice. Number two, the author would most agree with which of the following statements. Existentialism is a philosophy about agency and choice best introduced through reading passages such as this one. B. Frankel's philosophy is better than Kierkegaard and Sartre's. C. Kierkegaard and Sartre's philosophies were impractical when compared to Frankel's philosophy. D. Applying the principles of existentialism to everyday life is better than just talking about it. Question number three. Which of the following best describes the main goal of the passage? A. To compare the different philosophies of Kierkegaard, Sartre and Frankel to show a progression of existential philosophy, 
or C, to demonstrate how existentialism has changed over time. Number four. Number four. According to the passage's depiction of Kierkegaard, which of the following policies would he most support? A. That students should have the choice to attend either a secular or religious school. B. That existentialism should be taught in schools. Or C. That the world's religions should be taught in schools. Number five. Which of the following statements is least supported by the passage? A. Sartre believed men and women were equals. B. Sartre supported laws to prevent discrimination. C. Sartre believed that a poor man could become rich if he worked hard enough. Or D. Sartre was denounced by the church. Okay, so now let's go through the answers. In question number one, what is existential angst? The correct answer is A. This is a comprehension type question. To answer it, you would have had to go through the text and gain a clear understanding and definition of the term in question. In the passage, existential angst is described as the daunting experience of making a choice when options are seemingly limitless. The important two points were that one, it is an experience, and two, it's an emotion felt when having to make a choice. In question number two, the author would most agree with which of the following statements. The correct answer is D. Applying the principles of existentialism to everyday life is better than just talking about it. So this is a reasoning beyond the text type of question, and the best approach is through the process of elimination. In all of these examples, I'll give you the correct answer, but if you want to know why it's not the other answers that maybe you picked, I've included a link below which will thoroughly dive into the questions and give you explanations for why the wrong answers are wrong. But anyway, in this case, to get the right answer, you have to consider the fact that the last paragraph of the passage is extremely positive compared to the fairly neutral tone of the rest of the passage. The positivity associated with the paragraph is for the application of Frankel's philosophy. It is therefore implied that the author has a highly positive view of applications of existential philosophy. So question three, which of the following describes the main goal of the passage? The correct answer is B, to show a progression of existential philosophy. As with question one, this is another comprehension question, but this one is directly asking for the main goal of the passage. In other words, what is it about? In paragraph three, there is a direct progression from Kierkegaard to Sartre, and an implied one in the last paragraph, as the author introduces Frankel as having applied existentialist principles, presumably introduced by Kierkegaard and Sartre. Question four. According to the passage's depiction of Kierkegaard, which of the following policies would he most support? The correct answer is D, that public funding should be provided for religious school boards. So this is a reasoning beyond the text type of question. The passage describes that Kierkegaard is concerned with individual agency and choice, but only insofar as one's relation to God. In paragraph two, it is directly stated that Christianity is seen as truth. Therefore, by providing funding to religious schools, they would in turn be more accessible to more people. This includes Christian school boards, and based on the direct statement in paragraph 2, he would have supported all students to attend. The last question, number 5. Which of the following statements is least supported by the passage? The correct answer here is B. Sartre supported laws to prevent discrimination. Again, this is a reasoning beyond the text question. The passage describes Sartre as an atheistic philosopher who is primarily concerned, above all else, with choice and freedom of choice. In paragraph 3, it states, It is this narrowing and limiting of choice that Sartre defined as bad faith. Any and all external influences that caused one to live in an inauthentic fashion are judged to be guilty. Be careful here as this last question asks for the least supported, i.e. the choice that has the biggest leap in logic or the lowest amount of evidence. The process of elimination works well here in coming to B as the best answer or the answer with the most evidence. Okay, so hopefully you did well on that passage, but if you didn't, don't worry. That's what this practice is for. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe, like, and leave a comment if you have any questions. If you'd like us to help you get into medical school, go to bmomedschool.com to schedule your free initial consultation. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you next time.